happy holidays, everybody, from the Brett Allen Show, a pop culture podcast. It's that time of year. We've got Thanksgiving just around the corner and then Christmas or however you celebrate. Um, I don't want anybody coming after me, but so we have a fantastic guest today. I have been looking forward to this conversation. We are chatting with, yes, actor Adrian Martinez. That's correct. Woo! And Oh, Everything that is a awesome. fancy... Yes. And this individual, this amazing actor has been a part of so many great projects. Um, Stumptown, of course, uh, Lady and the Tramp, uh, The Guilty, which just premiered on Netflix a few months ago. But we are here to talk about a fantastic project that he has available uh, that's coming out on December 31st. Uh, and uh, I had an opportunity to see this. We're talking about this project, I Guilty, or I Gilbert, sorry, which he, the guilty, I'm thinking guilty, I Gilbert, which he wrote and directed and also stars in. Adrian, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Brad. It's great to be here. Yes, well, this is a, a fantastic project, I Gilbert, and this is a huge for you because this is a directorial debut. Let's talk about this and sort of how this project came about and the genesis of it, Adrian. Yes, well, thank you so much. Uh, if, if for you Stumptown fans, this is the bad alibi bar that I'm using as my virtual background. So yes. uh, cheers to Stumptown and the whole family there. Uh, I Gilbert started in 2012, incredibly. Um, that's when I wrote it. And that's when I decided that I needed to write it because of two things. First, I, you know, I have a daughter and I was just wondering, you know, who is she going to wind up being with in, in a world that seems to be more and more disconnected as we move forward? And second, it was based on a guy I saw in the subway in New York who was just walking up to this attractive woman sitting opposite him and just kind of like just taking photos of her like this and just dead and no life at all in him just kind of like a machine taking photos of her and she's like what the, what are you doing here and she flipped out and um he just got off on the next stop and that was it and i just thought who is this guy and and where are we going where a guy like this can think that's okay um so those were the two sort of inciting incidents for me to get this movie going yeah. And the fact that you were able to shop it and get it made is another huge deal, especially uh, in today's culture when it comes to putting projects together. And there's so much content available. And cheers to you, my friend, for winning the race on this and getting it to the place where people can actually have the opportunity to see it. That has to be huge. I mean, and to be working on this for so long, and to finally have it soon be available for people to see as an actor. I mean, it's great when you do amazing projects like Stumptown or, or whatever it is that it might be, but to have something like this just has to feel amazing for you. Yeah, it's very gratifying. And I, you know, I, I wanted to make sure that the story got told because as an actor, you know, a lot of times you're basically a plot device for someone else's story, but this is something that, that really, really mattered to me. And I, I knew the themes that I Gilbert weren't going to be told by anyone else. And so I had a window and in, uh, I think it was, yeah, 2016 and last year I, I where I did reshoots, um, I just took advantage of the, of, the, of the opportunity I had and I just shot it and I just cranked it out, man. A 20 day shoot. And I had only done short films in, in college up until this point. So I told myself each day is a short film. I'm just going to do 20 short films. <laughs> <laughs> I love and it. each day, each day is a short film. And that's kind of like, you know, how I tricked my brain into doing this instead of thinking, oh my God, it's, it's a full length feature and I got all these people to, counting on me. And then, you, know, you know, you can go crazy with stuff like that. So I just broke it down into something I could handle. Yeah, 20 days is quite ambitious for any kind of project, especially when you're working it on your own, so to speak, and you have the support necessary, but maybe not like the support of a major studio. I don't even think they would maybe try and do something in 20 days 
depending, I guess, on what it was. So while you're working on regular projects for yourself that you're starring in, you're also working on this simultaneously or what did you able did you have any kind of break at all between the two or is it just kind of like one day it's this and one day it's that well i have a recurring role uh for many series called unemployment yes and i am <laughs> <laughs> i am steadfastly a, a a member of that one um so yeah i in april of that year i had a, i had a window and i said this is it you know, walk the walk, do it. And I shot it. Um, and uh, we just did it. And it's interesting because we shot the guilty with Jake Gyllenhaal in 11 days. Yes. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. That's very true. Uh, that was a quick one. Yeah. But that was just basically one set. And Antoine Fuqua was off camera in a little van next to the set. I love it. Because of COVID concerns. And um, yeah, that was crazy. But I Gilbert was 20 and it had different sets and all this. Fantastic. It also has a great surrounding cast in it. Dasha Planko, uh, you know, Orange is the New Black and Russian Doll and several other things. I want to talk to you about this because be, in the sense that you created this project from scratch and you were able to get it up and get it going. I've heard a lot of actors say, and I would love to hear your input on this as far as like, we joke about the recurring role of unemployment as an actor, but it's a very real thing for the majority of folks like yourself who are in this industry. Um, creating content has to be very satisfying, obviously, because you do this, but you can't just sit around and wait necessarily either for the phone to ring, right? Like that just, it doesn't work that way for the majority. If, if, and please correct me if I'm wrong on that. No, you're right. I mean, unless you want to stay unemployed, uh, you can sit <laughs> yeah. around and wait. And you can just call yourself an actor. I know actors who do that. Like, they don't do squat for themselves. They just complain about their reps or they'll take a, a, a scene study class and, um, and that'll be enough for them. And hey, if, that's, if that works for you, do it. But if you really want to earn a living at it, you have to completely immerse yourself in three ways, as a producer of content, as a writer of content, and of course, as an actor itself. So I, 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 that, I, I don't see how there's a choice anymore. Uh, I Gilbert wasn't a luxury to me. You know, I just, ah, let me just do it. No, I, I had to do it. It was, it was a story I had to tell. And I knew nobody else was gonna hire me to tell it. So I hired myself and I feel like more and more, that's what we gotta do. Every major star in Hollywood already has their own production company. Because they know, you know, like not every studio will have a particular insight into a subject matter you may want to say, you may want to talk about or do. So it really falls upon us as actors to once again, pay the bill and just do it, you know, like whatever story you feel a passion for, just really do it. If there's a book out there, get the rights to it. If, if you don't know how to write, Find friends who do. They're there if you look far enough and just really just take care of business. Yeah. I mean, with the 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 times that we're in right now, there's really so many outlets to create content. It's insane. Like this. I know people are calling this like the golden age of television or whatever, or maybe even content, because like literally I can think of 10 streaming platforms just off the top of my head. Um, there's YouTube, there's Instagram. We had an actor on recently who was a part of a, a series on Snapchat uh, because, you know, actor Kim Coates of Sons of Anarchy, he was talking about this project that he got approached by. And the fact of the matter, the message is still the same. Like you say, Adrian, uh, there's just way too many opportunities out there uh, for people to create. Uh, and if they don't, then, you know, there's really no excuse because the old adage of, you know, complaining like we talk about or waiting for somebody to call you, um, you just have to keep moving. Otherwise, you would probably just go crazy yeah. <laughs> if you weren't, I mean, if you I'm were doing, just waiting. Absolutely. I'm doing a guest spot at CVS today. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, it's going to be really good. I play a person who needs medicine and I'm just going to go in and nail it. 
yeah, I think that would be great. And uh, then tomorrow you could do a uh, person who visits Thanksgiving dinner. Yes. Uh, awkward yeah. conversation. Also with... recurring, another recurring. <laughs> awkward I'm conversation with family. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I love it. Well, this is a great film and I am sincerely excited for people to watch it. And you, again, Rose. absolutely. And to, I think I mean, I'm just in love with storytelling, period. I want to ask you, Adrian, as we wrap up our chat here, what was it that wanted you or pulled you in to become a storyteller? I know you did some films in college, but like, what was the journey before that that really interested you in, in being an actor? Well, I've been a character actor for a while. And each time I am, you know, you try to make a three dimensional character. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the material just isn't there. And so a lot of times for me, you know, I've been like the sidekick to Ben Stiller or Will Ferrell or, you know, Will Smith. And it's been great. It pays the bills. I've been able to travel the world, literally fantastic. But there was a part of me, you know, that said, you know, I have a point of view. I have a point of view of the world. I see things going on that need a voice. And if you don't honor your talent, it really does haunt you. Mm -hmm. and I felt haunted by the fact that I had these ideas and I wasn't doing anything about it. And that was kind of the genesis for I Gilbert. Like, I just really felt like I got to tell this story because I just feel people getting more and more disconnected. We see what's happening to teen girls, for example, and how social media is affecting them. And I just thought to myself, you know, I got to do something shit because my kid is a teen and I have to do something about it. I have to give this a voice. So I was compelled to do I Gilbert. And um, I feel like anybody who's interested or who has felt alone at any point in their life or frustrated with not being seen or heard, this is the movie for you because you are Gilbert. And I feel like this will give you the opportunity to see yourself on screen in a way you've never had before. Yes, this is a fantastic film. One last question. Does your daughter have any interest in what you do? <laughs> in no. <laughs> Nothing no. at all. No, thank you. <laughs> She would rather like uh, work at a fast food place than, than do this. And then I, you know what? Good for her. You know, she's a, more of a visual artist. She's a fantastic painter. Um, her paintings would blow you away. And I'm really proud of her. And uh, but she's carving out her own journey and whatever you want, kid, whatever you want. I got you. I love it. hundred percent. I Gilbert's fantastic film premiering in theaters and on demand December 31st, starring the super talented Adrian Martinez. Be sure to check out all the other projects he's done. I mean, he's been in so many. I Feel Pretty comes to mind. Uh, just some classic. And hey, you know what? When you are like what you call the sidekick, you do so well. I mean, you steal the scenes, I have to tell you. And I'm just being 100% honest on that, um, for sure. Especially in I Feel Pretty. Um, but we yeah. could talk about that. <laughs> I digress. Adrian, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brad. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much.